I'm trying something new. I've watched a lot of people on podcasts and videos on social media talking about life and how great things could be if they had a little more of something. Whether that be money or friends, etc. It's always something that influenced me, whether I wanted it to or not. It made me want certain things for myself. And when I unplugged from these apps, I often had a lot more contentment with the things I was doing on the day to day. I took pride in the quiet days I spent smoking weed in the house with just my cat. <laughs> There's days that I realized that I didn't chase the same things depending on the type of entertainment I let in. Rather it be listening to music that talked about having a lot of women or singing along to it that consistently led to me living some of these things out. Or even watching movies that addressed life problems and challenges that made me think more attentively about my current living situation. But when I separated myself from all of this, I was really peaceful, even in the moments of sadness and even anger. I was so in tune with my emotions and took a certain pride in knowing that they were authentic and true to me. It wasn't something that I saw that made me feel the way that I was feeling or asked the questions that popped up in my head. It's because of these times that it made me honestly not like being on those sites too much. And I'm in no means telling anybody not to use them because I see the use of them as well. And I'm sure they change a lot of people's lives for the better. I just honestly don't feel like it does the same for me. Even though I miss seeing my old peers, I believe my ignorance of their daily life is how things were intended to be. And this is good. I like expressing myself. I'm looking forward to sharing more of my thoughts and views on life because I feel like there's somebody out there that feels me, you know? So looking into the new year and all the possibilities and changes that are sure to come on this earth, I hope that you can find a place that really makes you feel whole, even if I don't mess with it. And this year, I'm trying to read a book a month. Right now, I'm starting off with The Alchemist, and I'm only in the first 25 pages or so but the first thing that stuck out to me so far was when the boy was speaking to his father about how he wanted to be a shepherd and the father said everyone comes here looking for new things and they leave the same people they were when they got here now that made me think for two reasons one I'm cheap as fuck two the times i've traveled i recall i enjoyed myself but in the end, I did always return the same person. The same man that wanted to save money for the next time he wanted something. And this eventually got me to start appreciating my daily life and the things that I already had more. And this also spiraled into me trying to save all the money I possibly could. So I looked for people who were like-minded, naturally. And that's when I got introduced to minimalism and the fire movement. Now, I'm not going to speak too much on either one of those today in this video because I still want to see how it works out for me. And depending on how far I go, <laughs> I'll definitely let you know. Minimizing my possessions really started to minimize my overall wants. I had to come to terms with the type of videos I wanted to make. And I realized it's not something that's going to be looked at as monetizable. Or at least I think so. I have to make sure I'm staying true to myself into what I love and it's honestly the random parts of life that I find the most enjoyable. It's a lot of weed, philosophy, video games, and the overall freedom to do whatever the hell I want. So moving forward, I think it'd be good for me to share some of my views on life, talk about some of the experiences or some of the ways that I think, even if it isn't understood all the way even by me but stay tuned maybe you'll fuck with it